Hello again, YouTube. We're back on FreeCodeCamp doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 16 of 33. So today we're going to match beginning string patterns. Okay, so today uh, we're going to learn about the caret character. So previously we've seen the caret character used within a character set. So within the square brackets like we see here, when we use the caret within these square brackets, we create a what we know is a negated character set. So it will not match things following that caret within the parentheses, or I'm sorry, within the square brackets. However, if we use the caret, which again, if you look at your keyboard, it's the six, the number six key, shift six, that's the caret. Um, if we use that outside a character set, so outside the square brackets, we're going to create a pattern that will search the beginning of strings. So as you can see, outside the character set, the character can be used to search for patterns at the beginning of strings. So in this example, the string Ricky is found and can be found. If we use the regex caret Ricky, you can see with this test case, we'll get true. However, if we have this string, you can't find Ricky now with the same the same regex, the same caret Ricky, it would be false because the string doesn't start with that. So that's what the caret tells it is to look at the beginning of the string and find the match, right? So caret beginning of the string, find the word Ricky. That's true. It found it. This one, the first word is you, so it didn't find it. That's the main thing to note about the caret is it's only going to match the first you know, whatever, whatever you put following the caret, it's only going to match the beginning of the string if that does match or test. It's only going to test that, right? Does that match that? Yes, it does. True. Does Ricky match you? No, it does not. So false. Okay. So within the brackets negates it outside of the brackets searches the beginning of a string. This is the type of thing that I don't memorize. Uh, honestly, this is the type of thing I would look up if I needed to create a regex to do this, but definitely, you know, if you do have it committed to memory, I can imagine would be much more efficient. So all we're going to do in this example is create a caret match. So beginning of a string match to match this cal, match the word cal at the beginning of the string. If cal exists anywhere else in the string, it will not match it. It will only match the beginning because we're going to use the caret. So we can see here, that's literally all we have to do is say caret and whatever we want it to match. So erase that. We're still within the forward slashes. So between them, caret, and then we want to match the word cal. So that caret checks the beginning of the string, and then we're looking for cal, and sure enough, that's a match. That's a true test. That is correct. So that's all we should have to do for that one. I hope that made sense. I hope that helps. And um, yeah, once again, this is not something I would, I personally have committed to memory. I had to kind of read through this to remember this, but again, a lot of this regex is not something I personally have committed to memory, but it's good to understand, good to go through and good to have experience with because regex really is powerful and you will use a lot uh, in the development world. So hope that helped. Hope that made sense. See you guys in the next challenge.